We all know the PlayStation 4 is coming, but now we might know when. Sony's VP of Home Entertainment, Hiroshi Sakamoto, might have let slip that Sony is planning on unveiling the PlayStation 4 sooner than E3, if a recent interview is to be believed. When asked about whether or not the next generation PlayStation would be seen in the next few months, Sakamoto told the Chilean website Emol, That's still a big secret, but our friends are preparing Sony PlayStation. I can only say that we are focused on the E3 gaming event, scheduled for June. An announcement may be made in that minute or even earlier in May. Which only lends credence to the rumors published in the February edition of Game Informer, suggesting that both Sony and Microsoft are working on their own Apple-esque press conferences to reveal their new consoles near the time of the Game Developers Conference in March instead of at E3. And what can you expect from the PS4? Well, if rumors are to be believed, the specs could include a customized chip based on AMD's A8 3850 with a quad-core 2.9 GHz processor and a 1 GHz graphics card, with one gig of dedicated memory. Which is not exactly cutting edge, but hey, it's better than what's in the current aging console. And since many analysts believe that most next-gen consoles will consist of existing off-the-shelf hardware, the retail price points could come in at around 350 to 400 bucks. Meanwhile, Nintendo has announced they're restructuring their hardware divisions, marking the first organizational restructure of the company in nearly a decade. The restructure will combine the development segments of the handheld and home console divisions into one giant, waggling 3D touchscreen megazord in order to, as Nintendo puts it, come up with next generation game systems that will turn heads. And by turn heads, I hope they don't mean you're using your head as a controller, because I already got carpal tunnel from waggling the Wiimote. The last thing I need is a stiff neck. So. Do you think Sony and Microsoft will reveal their next-gen consoles outside of E3, or are they going to try and compete for attention from gamers during the always packed convention? Let us know in the comments below. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying I really thought it was a joke seven years ago when Sony said the PS3 would have a 10-year lifespan. Yet here we are, seven years later.